what are my three favorite horror films of all time? It's actually pretty easy for me to answer that. Uh, first up, we have A Vamp starring Grace Jones. Um, amazing movie. It's basically a uh, college comedy movie with vampires in a strip club set in the 80s, um, filmed in the 80s. So you have all these crazy neon colors and the cinematography is great. The, the writing is great, the story is awesome, the dialogue is phenomenal. The score is, uh, I think, perfect for the, a horror film like that. And if it was not a huge influence on Quentin Tarantino uh, for From Dust Till Dawn, then he missed like a huge opportunity. It's practically the same film, but better. Uh, next up we have Night of the Comet, starring Catherine Mary Stewart and Kelly Maroney. It is, um, man, I'm super fond of this film. My sister and my father were really into it when I was a small child. We had it on VHS and um, tells the story of, uh, you know, it, it's set, you know, in what was that at that time, present day. Um, and a, a comet is coming through that hasn't been through in thousands of years. In fact, the last time that it's come through, it, you know, is rumored that it wiped out the dinosaurs. And guess what? It wipes out pretty much the entire human race, except for a select handful of people that are only mildly affected by by its rays and they basically become zombies and then there's an even fewer amount of people that are like not affected at all. So it's up to them to, to battle these zombies and try to repopulate the earth. It's pretty awesome. But uh, again, set in the 80s, amazing. Last up, we have Night of the Creeps, directed by Fred Decker. It's his first film. Um, a lot of you guys might know Fred Decker from uh, The Monster Squad, another movie that he wrote and directed. Um, and I grew up with the Monster Squad, I love it. I know most guys my age in their mid to late 30s that grew up in the 80s uh, love that film. Um, but I think Night of the Creeps is better. It's um, super well written, stars Tom Atkins, who is way more of a badass than any of us will ever be. I love that dude. And uh, again, it's just amazing dialogue. It's got the right amount of, of campy special effects and awesome special effects. and just super entertaining. So, those are my top three. I would go with uh, Wait Until Dark. Uh, stars Aubrey Hepburn, uh, Alan Arkin, Richard Crenna, who played uh, uh, the Colonel in the Rambo movies. Um, but it's essentially a blind woman uh, defends herself against some, some drug dealers. Um, but the fact that she's blind uh, it makes makes for good uh, suspense. Um, then I'd go uh, Jacob's Ladder with Tim Robbins. Fantastic movie. Powerful performance. Um, and then lastly, I'd probably go Clive Barker's Lord of Illusions with Scott Bakula. It's fantastic. New stuff, uh, I kind of like uh, Green Room with Patrick Stewart. I thought that was, that was pretty good too. 